Hi everyone, this is PK and I have something interesting to show you today. Uh, in front of you on the right hand side, I kind of have it propped up on the monitor, is an Intel Edison. It's basically a small system on a module, it runs Linux, and it's attached to an Arduino breakout board. Uh, it's basically a standard part which breaks out the pins in, would, to be compatible with an Arduino Uno form factor. Uh, the Edison is a headless part, there's no provisions for a monitor, there's no HDMI or anything like a Raspberry Pi. Uh, to the left of it, the green board is a serial video card that I've been working on for the Hackaday Prize, both last year's 2014 and this year's 2015. Um, the VGA Tonic is attached to the Edison over the SPI or the SPI uh, interface. Um, and what you see right now, the, the screen is completely green. This is just VGA Tonic. Uh, this is what it does when it initializes. I have it draw a green screen. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, is uh, load a kernel module on the Edison, which is going to allow it to talk to VGA Tonic and basically know that it's there. Blink and you'll miss it. So what you just saw really briefly, the patchwork was uh, the driver initializing. And then almost immediately, once the frame buffer showed up in Linux, uh, FBCon, which I have compiled into my kernel, took over. So what you're looking at right now, and I know it doesn't look like it because it's black and white, is 8-bit color at 640 by 480, and it's running at exactly 10.1 frames per second. So I, you know, I, it's great, I got a console working, but I didn't really wanna show that as my demo. So I was looking around at some of the Edison projects that had already been done, and I saw that a, a maker uh, named, um, let me make sure I get his name correct, uh, Lutz Lada had already gotten Doom working on the Edison, and he did it at 30 frames per second and 320 by 200 resolution. So I decided to push the envelope a little bit. I'm going to show you Quake at 320 by 240, running at 40.4 frames per second. So, uh, give me a second, bear with me. Let me get that going. So there you go, you can see the demo playing right now. Um, and I actually have a mouse connected, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna play it from back here behind the camera. You can see it running at 40 frames per second. Um, on the Edison, it's basically what I wanted to show. So let me pop pop out of this because this actually isn't the full demo. So I also got Nano X or Micro Windows to compile on the Edison, and that's what you can see right now. I, this one is running at again 10 frames per second at 640 by 480. Um, I'm not even gonna bother moving the mouse around or anything, but uh, you know, suffice to say, you can get an X-like thing up here. I, I didn't try to go for the full X or for this demo, but you can see that at least micro windows will run okay. But I have one more thing to show, and this is a pretty funny one. All right, so considering that this is an x86 processor, I decided it would be pretty funny to get DOSBox running on it. So here you go, DOSBox running on the Edison. Makes perfect sense, right? So let me uh, demo something really briefly. I'm gonna go into Warcraft in uh, DOSBox. So unfortunately, it actually takes a second to uh, to pop up here. I don't know exactly what's causing that. Um, but the game itself is going to run in 320 by 240 or 320 by 200, one of those two modes, uh, basically whatever DOS is telling it to do. Uh, once we get past this splash screen, it's actually pretty playable though, and I will show you that. See the mouse working here.
Okay, sorry about that. I had to fix the camera. I kind of freaked out and it wasn't focusing correctly. But anyway, you can see Warcraft is working in DOSBox. I'll show you the move the mouse around. You can see how smooth it is. It looks pretty fast anyway. Cer certainly playable. But, you know, in general, this is running on DOSBox, so what you've got is a headless x86 Linux machine from last year uh, emulating a different era's x86 CPU and running DOS and driving VGA over SPI or SPI or however you say it. It's basically making the Internet of Things look a lot like the regular Internet. But I hope that you enjoyed this whole demonstration, and I'll add a link to the write-up uh, below or whenever I finish my write-up. Um, I've got uh, this VGA Tonic um, card. I'll add it right up to that as well. But I've got it working on other platforms, not just the Edison. I've got a Raspberry Pi version, a BeagleBone Black version, an Odroid C1 version, and an Arduino version, all working uh, properly with the card. Uh, I'm looking at uh, adding video to two other headless parts, some pogo plugs that I happen to have here. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching and stay tuned and definitely subscribe if you want more updates on VGA Tonic uh, over there. I'm going to record some more videos over the next few days, so I'll talk to you soon.